Hello, I just wanted to show you some of the basics of kind of what we're looking for in a Canvas course in terms of meeting the goals of setting up your uh, Canvas course here. And I'm going to go to this uh, term, even though it says term one, uh, it's got a little smiley face here. I'm going to click on this right here. And it got, this again goes above and beyond of what we're looking for. But I think one thing that's really nice to have is a visual. A nice visual here in terms of what year you're, you're, you're on. You can see it's a unit of motion, students moving around in the classroom. And again, any visual that represents that students can relate to of what you're dealing with. Now, I'm going to kind of close this sidebar here just for a moment, and then we'll come back to that in a little bit. So what we're looking for in terms of navigating the course, and I have red and blue elements here. Red elements are really essential. So actually, I should have made these red up here. A calendar, calendar, canvas calendar on the home page with agenda and assignments. So, this could be a embedded document, or you could just type this in. But also, we want learning targets on the home page as well. What's really important about these is that they be legible, that they're not small in font. So really be clear about that. The blue stuff here, I'm not going to spend too much time on. But we do want your syllabus linked in there. And I'll show you what I mean by that and show you the best way to do that. Assignments, realize assignments do not need to be handed in digitally. Physical assignments are really a way a lot of us go. Paper assignments are really kind of how we're doing it. So instructions for that or even due dates simply are really going to be important. Now, there are two ways to kind of set up your course module links or page links. And if you're kind of wondering about the difference between these two, I can kind of walk you through those two, but um, module links are that scrollable list of units with information, quizzes, and assignments. So it's the scrollable list that kind of goes on and on. And page links are kind of where you set up a separate page for each unit, where you'll have a list of readings possibly, videos, formative and summative assignments. Kind of the difference between these two is, think about this, everything is contained within one book or within one page, I should say, whether, whereas opposed to this is just a scrollable list of everything that students have done so far. Now, the other thing we want to have is learning targets. I, I realize we do have learning targets up here as well. But another thing that's nice to have is somewhere to have the overarching standards uh, on assignments for the course that make up the majority of the grades. So have those housed somewhere because those may change as well. Because, again, having the home page is nice, but really, if you explain them too much, you may clutter up the home page. And there is a really nice place to set up rubrics and really setting up rubrics or how you're going to grade things is really important. And finally, teacher contact information. So again, these things in red are really essentially what we are looking for you to create, um, setting up your Canvas site. And really, that is essentially it. Almost. Almost. So. Let me go to the sidebar here, and you'll see some of these have this X out with eyes, and some of them don't. Now, I set up this page, this course as a page course as opposed to a module course, so that's why you see that XI near the module. And the idea behind this is um, a lot of this stuff on the side here, if you're not using discussions, let me take you to the student view here. If you've never actually looked at the student view before, 
The key to this is to make it really simple for the students to know where to go. A lot of people have a link to the syllabus on the home page, and that is nice, but really there is actually a page for the syllabus within Canvas where you can embed the syllabus document in there. And it, I would say it's not a bad idea to do that. So a syllabus, having that in there, and uh, when Mrs. Radomsky and I talk together, uh, basically we, this is just a Google Doc that's embedded in there, which is really nice, where we kind of keep track of everything that we need students to do, including what's really important is the grading scale. So again, going through this is going to be fairly important. Now, again, assignments we talked about before. Again, these are assignments that are really, I didn't flesh these out at all. And these can be turned in online or again, turned in via paper. But the key is when you go to an assignment, you want to be able to give some due date. And that's really key. And if you want to provide instructions, that's really good as well. Quizzes, again, quizzes, if you want to do online quizzes, that's great. But if you're just going to do your quizzes uh, via paper, that's really not that important at all to actually have this section at all. Grades, it is completely kind of up to you because we do have an infinite campus if you're gonna have grades in there, but because I do digital grading, I do have that grade section and I set up this course as a pages course. So there are pages as opposed to modules. So a pages course, the kind of way it works is that um, Basically, you all have different pages. I'll kind of show you what I mean by that. All right. So I'd just like to show you uh, a little bit more, uh, a little bit more in depth about what we're talking about here uh, when we're looking about these course pages. So um, what I'd really like to emphasize is that um, you can see that there's the bathroom pass there and uh, the weekly agenda that's embedded here kind of has each day kind of set up and it's kind of hard to see the Friday there just because I didn't set up the set it up 100% correctly but the today in class the daily uh, what we're doing each day kind of changes every day but if we go back uh, we can see what we did each week so it's kind of set up and you can kind of see what I don't really love about some of these things here is that um, is that we really want to keep these linked and the more we link these to assignments the more information we actually give students so it's actually fairly easy and so that's a great thing about canvas is that using those hyperlinks is great one thing I would also recommend unit pages if we're looking at universal design for learning, uh, one of the really big things is not just saying chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, because those don't mean anything at all. What we are studying here are different topics. So the idea is putting GIFs or GIFs in here isn't important at all, but some type of visual that relates to what you're talking about, if we're talking about motion, I'll have to talk about projectile motion forces. So whatever topic you're talking about, I would highly recommend, even if you have a textbook that has chapters, what's the title of the chapter? And down here are where we have these characters from the office. These are just games, as it clearly says. Games for students to play, physics games to play offline. And again, as you can see, if you scroll all the way down, uh, my contact information. And on a unit page, for example, and again, this is digging deeper into the weeds than we really need to. What we'll have here are essential questions and priority standards. But again, it would hurt to have these on the home page and change these up as you go along or set up a Google slideshow or a Google Doc where you kind of have these set up for each unit rather than what I've done here. And I've kind of gone 
I think did a, put a lot, a lot of work into these, maybe too much work, uh, where I recorded notes and links to uh, assignments. And again, you can kind of see that uh, we have different days here, uh, different things for different days here. And you can see learning targets here are probably a little bit too small in terms of fonts, but again, the links to the assignments are there. But again, those are already in the calendar, so I'm really duplicating myself, which isn't really necessary. All right, thanks for the time. Again, I'm really here to help, and I really want to increase student accessibility to Canvas, not to um, really um, evaluate you, but to help the students access your content, your fantastic content. So thank you so much for listening. I really do appreciate it. All right, have a wonderful day.